I am Amna Al Ali. I came with my family as a refugee in 2018 from Syria to the UK, and I played Fatima's role in the Old Oak film. If you need anything, just ask. Per capita, there was more refugees sent to the northeast in Scotland than any other part of the country because this housing was cheaper, and so the people who lived there felt dumped upon, felt angry. Funny, isn't it? Uh, they always put them round here, but they never put them in Chelsea or Westminster. Well, of course they don't. They don't want them living by them. But right in the middle of all that, there was also people who wanted to try and understand what was going on. Wish I can get a bike. I would have lost everything. I seem to understand. I came to this country and I had absolutely nothing other than the clothes on the back. He told us there is a film. It will be about the refugee. And if you would like to be part of this, come meet Ken Lewis. We were between yes or no. But after we met him, we saw him. He's a very kind person. And we say, why not? We will try. It did feel like there was going to be an enormous challenge to do justice to both these communities, the people who had lived there post-industrialization, and one that is even doubly traumatized by the war. And we're not trying to make an equation between the two, because the trauma of what the Syrians went through is just mind-boggling in its cruelty. So it all felt very, very fragile but we felt that this was going to be, you know, bigger than we expected. It's so important because we met lots of people here in the UK and when they asked us why you came to this country, when we tell them, do you know anything about the problem in our country? They said, no. And after that, when we tell them the story, they get shocked. There's a hundred people into one cell. Only few survive. But I have to be strong for my family. But it's all just a big act. So sorry, Yara. The privilege of meeting those people and being able to try and include their experience in some way into the story they're not just putting on a costume and walking on the set. Every one of those people carries a history that is extraordinary. Feeling that you are uh, moving to a new country and a new life was mixed between uh, fear and happiness because not knowing what we are going to face. When you eat together, we stick together. We used to do the same before we left Syria. We used to cook together too with our neighbors. Except the refugee. No one knows what they faced to come to this country. It's not easy, but when we accept them, we will give them support. It's the most important thing. I have a friend who calls hope obscene, but if I stop hoping, my heart will stop beating.